Hi, I'm Dr. Mall. I'm Dr. Crisp. And thanks for tuning in for another Research Friday. Um, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering an article. If you'd like to check out that article, just check the link below. Right below. All right, so Dr. Mall, today... Yes. Hey, what are we talking about? Why you got a foot in your pocket, man? Always got to be prepared. <laughs> like, always got to be prepared. Like, like Boy Scouts, always, always got to be prepared. prepared. Well, I, so I would, I, I, would, I would think we're going to talk about the foot. Actually, we are going to talk about the foot. All right, perfect. Very, so, very yeah. simple article today talking about I, the foot. I like simple articles. Okay, so this article today is called The Effects of Short Foot Exercises in Arch Support in Soles on Improvement in the Medial Longitudinal Arch and Dynamic Balance of Flexible Flat Foot Patients from the Journal of Physical Therapy Science 2016. <sighs> you just run a 5K? I think I ran a 20 k yeah. That was exhaustive. <laughs> so what in the world are we talking about? Really, this article went over the, the treatment benefits of short foot exercises okay. or arch stability exercises okay. and insoles. Perfect. Kind of a really interesting, because we get that from patients all the time. Well, yeah. um, and we're not discounting insoles. Insoles no. have their place in the foot in management of foot conditions and even mm -hmm. hip conditions. Yes. So we're not discrediting no, the not value of foot insoles, but we're really looking at that question we get from patients all the time of, well, should I wear an insert? What kind of insert, insert should I buy for my shoes? Yes. And so we have to, as providers, we have to look at that patient and that condition and say, does this need an insole mm -hmm. or does it need short foot strengthening exercises? And in some cases, you may have to put them in a... Uh, arch support for a bit and as they do these exercises then they can get out of that support yeah. so it just depend it's dependent upon what the patient presents with in front of you yeah okay. um, so really I mean the conclusion of the article was short foot exercises mm -hmm. had better outcomes mm -hmm. than just insoles for certain conditions so question si sí, senor all right S talking Spanish again <laughs> all right so Towel crunches. Talk to me about towel crunches, because oh, when man. I was in school, that's about all the intrinsic I learned. So you know, you get the towel, and you, and you do not that. only do we get a towel, we sometimes like cut a theraband that's five feet long and put a weight on the end of it, and we tell them to slowly bring yeah. it to where we're slowly bringing the towel in. Yeah. So what did this go into that? It actually did cover it. He okay. It, it did say, although that can be a good exercise, it doesn't assist in stabilizing the intrinsics or the actual longitudinal arch or medial arch. Which is vitally important with And arch. that's what we're talking about. So yeah. we've talked about in hip patellofemoral pain syndrome, yep. we talked about it in cuboid syndrome. Mm -hmm. When you have that pronated foot, you've mm -hmm. got to work on the arch support or, the, to. or the posterior tib. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately those towel crunches or these toe, or I used to do marble pickups and things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, uh, not for this or not, those conditions. Not not for this con those conditions. Because what it does is it mostly does the flexor hallucis, which in some cases, if they've got a flexor hallucis issue, yeah. But if they've got a, a clinical flat arch, mm, it's not going to be yeah. the best. Yeah. So we're talking about short foot, and they really described this in the in one of the exercises they gave patients okay. in this study was they had patients seated 90 90 mm -hmm. feet flat on the floor. And they actually put a towel, now not a towel under the toes, they actually put a towel in between the patient's heels. So that way they had some sort of posterior tib activation. Ah, okay. And then what they did is they taught them how to bring the toe, great toe, little toe, and the heel together. Okay. Without flexing the toes. They so, taught them how to bring so to them pull together. It this way instead of gripping. Exactly. Kind of like an arch crunch to where you bring these two together and you start stabilizing the two arches, longitudinal and medial arches there. Super simple. So whether you're a person that likes to just do arch crunches or you want to do a arch crunch with a swoop mm -hmm. or if you even want to do one of my favorites where you have them place a paper here, you have them do an arch crunch and then they have to do windshield wipers this, on the floor. When you gave me this one, I thought my whole foot was going to cramp. Oh, it cramps real quick. Oh, it cramps so fast. Very effective exercise. Very effective. But I like the fact that they actually put a towel in between the malleoli. That's really cool. Because we do an art, we do a research. I mean, yeah. an exercise where we put a ball here. Absolutely. They got to do posterior tib activation. Yeah. So that was really neat to see a towel here while doing the arch oh, support. That's great. Um, and, and they showed benefit. Now they did these. What was really interesting is they did they did these for 
Um, 10 seconds. They made them hold that arch crunch for mm -hmm. 10 seconds, mm -hmm. um, followed by 5 seconds. Mm -hmm. And this process was repeated for 30 minutes per time. And they did it 3 times per week for a total of 5, five weeks. weeks. And they had some significant improvement in those outcomes. Yeah, if you're, if you're a dated guy and you like, like Y's and yep. Z's and everything else, they've got it right up there about pre-test and post-test. Yeah. And that's some big changes, man. Yeah, so they looked at the navicular drop test where you're just mm -hmm. measuring the height from mm -hmm. a seated position. Mm -hmm. You take an index card, measure the height, and then you have them stand up and you see how much it drops yep. and you measure it. Yep. And they did a Y balance test and you mm -hmm. can read through how that Y balance yep. test was done according to this article. But oftentimes we can turn that Y balance test into an actual rehab too. Um, oh, I think it's wonderful. So I very simple review very showing simple. us the benefit of foot, short foot exercises mm -hmm. versus towel crunches. Yep and the importance of doing that, but also how we can adapt it to patients to make it more challenging or simplify the exercise. Uh, yes, perfect. Which you like to make things simple, or what you call... Country simple. Country simple, or mm -hmm. E-A-S-Y. Um, E-A-S-Y, yes it simple. I do. <laughs> and so this just supports the, the benefit of doing that and how it changes the biomechanics and how it improves function. And when we summarize these with some of the other mm -hmm. conditions we've talked in prior research mm -hmm. articles or Research Fridays, by doing this, we're also going to help with some of the knee conditions we manage a lot. and some of the hip conditions you can manage. Uh, a lot. A lot of them. So, so short foot like exercises, a like little bit better than insoles for mm -hmm. intrinsic instability. Or that person who's always had inserts. Yep. Put them on it see what happens. Give it to them. Absolutely. Good stuff, so, man. I'm Dr. Good Maul. Article. I'm Dr. Crisp. And we thank you for tuning in. Once again, if you want to see the article, check the link below. And we shall see, see you, you next, next Friday. Friday.